you chose this video because you want to know how to find the distance between two points. You really need to memorize the distance formula for this. Here's the distance formula. It's equal to the square root of the quantity x2 minus x1, and you square that quantity, plus the quantity y2 minus y1 squared. Now the order in which you subtract your x values really doesn't matter since you're going to be squaring it anyway. And you could have this over here on this side since you're adding them. The order of these two really doesn't matter. Let's look at an example. Let's find the distance between the point 4, negative 2 and negative 1, 4. So we can label our points. If this is x1, then this is y1. And if this is x2, then this is y2. And that makes it really easy to plug it in to the correct spot. So we're going to plug in negative 1 to this spot, 4 into this spot. We're going to plug in this 4 to this spot and this negative 2 into this spot and simplify. Now you'll notice here that we have minus a negative number. So I did use this extra set of parentheses just to show that I'm subtracting a negative number, which I will then change to addition. Anytime you subtract a negative, you're going to add it instead. So here we have the distance is a square root of negative 1 minus 4 is negative 5, and 4 plus 2 is 6. Negative 5 squared is 25. 6 squared is 36. Now we're ready to add 25 and 36, and so we get 61. Now we cannot simplify the square root of 61 because 61 is not divisible by any perfect squares. So if your teacher wants you to leave your answer in exact form, that would be it. Otherwise, you can use a calculator and round to the nearest hundredth, which is two decimal places, for a distance of 7.81. Thank you for choosing Math with Caroline. Please give a thumbs up, subscribe, share this video with your friends, and leave a comment.